Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. For today's video, I want to cover something that I thought was really obvious in my videos, but I guess to some people it isn't. And if you're wondering what the sound is in the background, it is storming really badly here right now with thunder and lightning and wind and rain. So with that being said, you're probably going to hear that a lot in the background. It's actually not raining as hard as it was, but you still might hear it anyway. The thing that I want to address is how independent I am. Because there are different levels of independence and people have different ideas of what makes independence independence. So I can cook some things on the stove, macaroni and cheese and tacos. And I can make cookies in the oven. I could probably do a lot more stuff if I would learn how to use my stove and also not be afraid of burning myself, which I'm terrified of. I don't know why. I know everyone does it. Logically, I know this, but fear doesn't make sense with logic. Anyway, I can do that. I can use an air fryer. And I can use a George Foreman. And I got a crock pot I can use also. So I can cook like that. I don't always show me cooking. And when I do, I usually show myself using a microwave. Which I guess is what everyone just assumes that is the only thing that I know how to use. I don't know. But it's not. <laughs> The only reason I don't show the other stuff is because there's not always a place to set my phone to get a good angle or to not get it splashed on or whatever. I actually lived by myself in Kansas City. If y'all remember the videos that I filmed from there. I was actually living in a hotel apartment by myself, and I did everything except the cleaning of the room because they had a hotel staff do that, but I knew how to do it. But I did everything else. I bought my groceries, I cooked my food, and all that kind of stuff. And... When I went to Alpha Point, there were skills that I needed to work on. Alpha Point is a place where you can go if you need a job, if you need training skills, or any type of skills relating to blindness. Basically, it's a blindness organization, an independent one. And it's located in Kansas City, Missouri. And... I can go to places on my own within my hometown. I have tried to go to places without family, but some of them won't drop me off and leave me. And I have used transit before, if you will remember. So I can get to places by myself, and it's a lot easier because I know where I'm going here. I have really bad orientation skills, I have really good cane skills, and really bad orientation skills, so if I'm in a new place, it takes me about seven times of going around the place to know where something is, and that is definitely something that I need to work on, and I plan to do that in the future, and once I do, I can hopefully apply to get a guide dog. And all of that, I guess people assume that I'm not independent because I don't live by myself. And I totally just explained how I did live by myself in Kansas City. I don't live by myself because that was a personal choice that I made. Well... It was, it was for various reasons, but nothing, none of them had to do with me being blind. It was just 
personal choice that we all made that we were going to live together. I do take care Which of my pets. Is totally evident by all the videos on my channel. So go dig through my channel and you will find various videos where I've done multiple different things in order to prepare and or take care of a pet. I also have apps that are for the visually impaired people. The visually impaired people, okay that are for blind people like myself, such as Be My Eyes, Seeing AI, etc. However, I can't get them to work on all things. So yes, sometimes because I do live with sighted people, I use their eyes because it's a lot faster than trying to get my phone to read a label or trying to read some sort of text in document form, like a letter or something. But I do have access to various apps, such as Be My Eyes and Ira. I also pay all of my bills. Anyway, if there's any more assumptions that you'll have about my independence, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And I will try to answer them in the next video. This was kind of fun actually. Be sure and like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Whatever. Like my Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Odyssey. You can find all of those links on my YouTube page below the about section. As well as down in the description below. My email address can be found in the about section of my YouTube page. And be sure and check out the community tab on this channel because I have some posts up there that you guys may enjoy. I have some polls y'all can vote in. I have some text posts. I post some videos that I think maybe some of y'all would like. So go check them out. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Oh, my God. Stop rambling.